we're going to talk about uh, approaching the painting in terms of shape instead of outline, especially with buildings, architecture, street scenes. Uh, the temptation is to see things in terms of, of, of line or contour. And we want to start from the very beginning of blocking this in with uh, large shapes, wiping out instead of uh, outline, and then moving into the color, seeing things in terms of large shapes of value and color, again, instead of detail and uh, small lines. This is a farm in southern Utah. We want to talk about composing it right now, and it's a, a real good exercise, as well as gathering material, to take camera and sketchbook wherever you go, pretty much, and spend some time photographing, looking for compositions. Not that you'll find the perfect composition, but you'll find things that you can tweak in the studio, you know, to create a better composition. And that's really good exercise to train your eye to look for good uh, design and composition. So uh, get in the habit of doing that. If you take an afternoon and go somewhere for the whole day, and it doesn't have to be big vistas, but you're just trying to compose with the camera and then also with the sketchbook, maybe do some value drawings. Um, and the whole purpose is strictly to train your eye to see composition. So it's a habit you're trying to get into to train your eye to see things. I have way too much foreground in here and too much sky and background and uh, too much on the side over here. My focal point is like right in here. And even there, I want to get rid of this, a bunch of these X's. I don't even know what that is, but I'd get rid of that and just make simple fence posts there. There's a plastic water tank. I'll get rid of that. Probably get rid of this thing. Maybe leave a post or two. I'm, I'm looking at it, trying to decide what I don't need. I do like the rooftops. I might get rid of this one and just bring the house down. Mentally, knowing what I'll get rid of. And then I want to crop it. Again, if you don't have Photoshop, GIMP.com, G-I-M-P, does about the same thing as Photoshop. It allows you to crop it, allows you to turn it to black and white, and you just upload your photograph into that. It's free. I know I want to get rid of this big tree because it's coming from the outside, kind of sticking in. I want to get rid of some of the sky. So let's crop it there. And that's better. I'm zooming in more on what's important. But still, the focal point is small compared to the background and the foreground. So, I can do a bunch of different types of cropping. I can make a square crop, a, a longer horizontal composition, maybe more vertical. But now let's crop some of the barn off so the barn runs off the canvas. And I want some of the sky. And I do want all those houses in there. So a little bit of the sky, and that's a little better. It zooms in. I do like the trees, the layering of the trees, the layering of the distance. I can still create this mountain runs off and then it comes back. So I want a little more of a distant hills back in here. So this will go further back than this because I still want to create depth. And I also want to, at, at this stage, decide how I'm going to group these trees. I don't want to paint a bunch of individual trees, so I'll group these together into a shape. These together into a large you know, a large group, and maybe that one. These into a large shape. And same thing there, and maybe that one there into another one. So I'm pulling the individual trees together into shape instead of wanting to outline a bunch of trees. I'm going to get rid of this tree, or this, this barn right there, and I'll just pull the house down. In other words, once I get rid of this barn, I have to finish off this house. And it's no more than just an extension of what's there, so I'm not necessarily making up anything. Uh, but I'm making some notes of, of what I'm going to do. And I can do this all with pencil and paper, too. I want to carry this kind of uh, flat area, maybe pull it out like this, and then have the grass come out. I want to get rid of the road this concrete road. So I'll pull the grass out, the yellow grass, a little bit of green grass, but a little bit of a path that kind of winds back and ends up in in here pointing towards the, the focal point. So what I do from here, I get rid of all the little doodads in there. I would either print this out or put it on the, the computer. I usually paint from the laptop, so I'll just paint from it because uh, I've already made the changes. You can also do this on the sketchbook. Crop in and just draw what's 
in that area. Generally, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to start with my focal point, get it as big as I want, then as I draw out, whatever fits in, fits in. Mm -hmm.